Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be both a tech experiment video and a Wii homebrew related video because as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be trying to make a web server out of my Nintendo Wii right here. And this is all made possible through a homebrew application that will allow us to make our Wii into a web server. And we're just going to jump right into it. So I've got the homebrew browser installed here. You guys have probably seen my video on the Open Shop channel, which is the revival for the homebrew browser. Uh, and there is an application in here. This is actually how I first heard about it. That enables you to turn your Wii into a web server. Now, why would you want to do this? Well... There's no real practical reason unless you want to just create a web server out of your Wii because you have nothing else to make a web server out of. This probably isn't the best system to use for a web server, but this is also not the best system to install Windows 95 on, but that didn't stop us from doing that in this video that I'll have up in the cards. That was a pretty fun video. Yes, I was able to install Windows 95 on the Nintendo Wii, so if you want to see kind of how that whole process worked, check it out up in the cards. So here we are in the homebrew browser right here, and if we go over to the utilities tab, okay, so this is the FTP server application, but if we scroll down a little bit more there's this program called we web server which serves web pages so we just have to press a on this and click on download uh, i'll also leave the um, direct download link to this application i believe you can download it from github so this ch uh, i keep wanting to say channel because that, that's typically what you say with the Wii. but this application was i guess first published in 2009 june 13th 2009 and from what I understand, it, it's very simple to do. So we're going to exit out of here. We're going to press the home uh, button and go to uh, return to loader, which will bring us back to the homebrew channel. And we should now have a new application called Wii Web Server. Here it is. We're going to press A. Uh, so it says boot using normal methods, cough, HBC, cough. So, you know, boot using the homebrew channel. Once running, it will run itself. Place your HTML files in data web on the root of your SD card. I did read about that. It must be inserted before the app is loaded. Okay, so it has to be inserted. Use data.zip for demo files. There is no directory listing, and your home page must be called index.html. I guess it says ready, so like this is literally the interface right here. So this is what you have to be running to uh, to be able to use the Wii as a, as a web server. So what I'm going to do is create some basic HTML files, and we're going to see if we can use php stuff with this i highly doubt that's going to be the case and yet if you press the home button it just says shutting down and you quit back to the homebrew channel all right so i have created three test documents on this sd card it's now back in the nintendo wii we're going to launch the wii web server here and uh we will see if uh, if it works which it already worked before so i'm, I'm sure it's going to work totally fine so there we go, starting on port 80, there's the IP address that I have to connect to. So we're going to refresh this page here, but that is pretty cool that it shows you an output of what it is doing. In this case, it's going to show my user agent of the web browser that I'm trying to uh, use to connect to the server. So it shows that, it shows the type of request that it is, it shows what it sent. So it, so it sent the file, you know, located on the SD card index.html inside of the data and web folder. So pretty awesome. What we're gonna do now is, so we've been able to verify that it can serve basic HTML pages, and this is a very, very basic page. I'll just show you the source here. This is five lines of code. Uh, and yeah, it's just very, very basic. I made this in like five seconds. But what we're going to do is I have also created, I believe it's called CSS.HTML. Uh, and this, well now the server's apparently not accepting any requests, so that's interesting. Yeah, it's it's literally not doing anything now. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting. So it served one request and then it stopped serving requests. So the web page is trying to pull, so yeah, server took too long to respond, so it's starting right now. Okay, it started. Okay, so there is the, the basic page again. I believe it's called test, I think it's css.html. Wow, so can it, can it only serve like one page before it just stops responding? Yeah, connection timed out. Okay, so I verified that the name of the document is style.html. So this document exists on the web server. So it, it looks like that it, it serves one request and then it just stops, yeah, it just stops responding. I mean, the server is still responding as I can press the home button. Uh, I wonder if there's any options that I can configure. I mean, basically, yeah, so if you press A, if you press the home button, whatever you press, it just 
quits back to the homebrew channel. Now I did, let me just show you this here. I can just go to the SourceForge page for this. So this is the project page for it on SourceForge here. And it was last updated in August of 2015. So that's like almost five years ago actually. However, if we go to the files tab here, you can see that the actual, like the Wii web server folder here was last modified in April of 2010. So yeah, this is at least five years out of date, but this project looks to have originated back in 2008. I don't know if the version on the Homebrew browser, because it said that the date was like 2009. So I don't know if it's, maybe it's not the latest version. How about I try to download, let's just try to download the latest version of it from here. And we'll, we'll copy that over to the SD card and see if we get any better results. Because for some reason, what appears to be happening is it serves one web page and then it just stops responding and you try to send another request to it and it, it and it doesn't respond. But the server is still up and it's not like the entire Wii freezes or anything like that because you can still, you know, press the home button to close the connection, stop the server and go back to the homebrew channel. So it's it's not like the entire Wii freezes up. But we'll we'll try to uh, we will try to use the latest version from SourceForge here and see if that gives us any different results if it wants to download. All right, so I've got version 1.3 alpha downloaded. The file size of the .doll file was larger. So this is the latest and greatest version from five years ago, I guess. And it is on the SD card and the server is running. So we're gonna press F5 to reload the web page. And okay, so this, what I was trying to do was load just a random web page, which now it says unable to open this directory uh, generated by a Wii web server alpha version 1.3 alpha. So this was essentially, what I had tried to do was create a 404 page. Okay, so it still does the same thing. So it serves one request and then it just stops. So we'll try to restart the server again. But this is just very, very interesting. But what we can do is now that it's up and running again, we can type in style.html. This is the basic Apache default page. Does it have PHP support? Well, I've got a test PHP document on here and it looks like it doesn't. So if this did have PHP properly set up, it, it would be displaying a PHP in information page I can show you. Let's just view the page source here. It would essentially run PHP info, which is the script that would show all of your PHP information, you know, like the version that's installed, all, all of that stuff. So this does not have PHP set up. Now this is just a cached web page because it, di it didn't actually send a request to the server to pull this. I'm looking at the command line output right now. So this is just a, a cached page since Firefox already loaded it here. So we can load all these, like here's the index.html. These are all just cached, so it's able to load them. But if I try to press F5 to refresh the page, it's now not going to load. It's just going to be on this screen and just eventually time out. So does it work? Like does actually creating a web server on the Nintendo Wii work with this application? Yes, it absolutely does. But for whatever reason, it only can serve one request before uh, not accepting any more incoming requests, and it just for it just causes any clients to try to connect to it to time out, which you can see that's what it's doing here. So just as a last resort, I wonder if there's are any other alternatives on the Homebrew browser. So let's try to launch back into the Homebrew browser here, and we'll load this. All right, so we're back here on the Homebrew browser. We're gonna go over to Utilities. Okay, so there's a web browser, Wii Browser, which I guess is like an alternative to the internet channel. So there's like a web browser for the Wii itself, uh, Wii File Browser. Um, but the only, I think the only web server related thing is just the Wii Web Server. Yeah, there's the FTP server, Wii Web Server. Oh, now it's gonna have this question mark because the version I have is newer than what, uh, than the version that, that they have here. So I guess everything on the Open Shop channel is not completely up to date because yeah, th this version, I mean, so we were able to confirm from the SourceForge page that this project was started in 2008. So the version the Homebrew browser has here is from 2009. The newest version is from 2010. So the version they have is not the latest version, but it doesn't appear to make a difference as to if it can serve more than one request without restarting the entire server. So unfortunately, it doesn't appear like there are any alternatives to this Wii web server application here. I did a brief search for any other alternatives online. There doesn't appear to be anything else, which isn't really surprising because this is a very, 
niche project kind of. I mean, there, there's not really any reason that you would want to use a Nintendo Wii to run a web server, especially if you can only serve one request before like not accepting any incoming connections. Uh, so this is definitely not the best solution. There are much better solutions out there if you want to create an actual web server. Uh, you can use like a Raspberry Pi, you can use a Linux machine, you can use even a virtual machine. There are many other solutions out there. You can use something like WAMP if you want to uh, use it, you know, set up a web server on your Windows based system. But this video was just to kind of see if we could do this, and the answer is yes, kind of. I mean, technically, the server does work, it just will not accept uh, any more than one request to like receive data from the server, which is definitely not how you would want a like 24 7 always on web server to behave. But it's still pretty cool that this project exists, and if you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more like it, be sure to give this a thumbs up, and be sure to get subscribed down below. Turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do every single week, multiple times a week on this channel. If you guys want to see a follow-up to this video where we take a look at FTP, which is the FTP server, uh, I, I could definitely do that. That would be really fun, so if you guys want to see that, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But as for now, guys, that is going to end it off for today's episode. I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all, as always, in the next video.